Welcome back, everybody. I am the dad who plays things, and today on Ark Survival Evolved, our solo single-player adventure, we are going to continue building out this base. We are going to make ourselves less heavy than we are right now by going ahead and putting down, getting hit in the back with the tail of our Textego, but also by putting some triangle foundation supports down and getting the front, I'm going to call it our front balcony, completed for the top section of this base. I went ahead and in, uh, in between the last episode, you, let's see, let's take a look in here. Let's see, let's creep down. I went ahead and built a stairway, finished out the ceiling. So now we can get to our attic. I know it's not the most practical thing, and chances are I may put a ladder or something there instead of the stairs. But for right now, I'm, I'm happy with those. Those will work. But let's, uh, let's start making this. Let, let's get this kind of fleshed out a little bit more. Let's see. The trick is going to be, I've got 38 of these. Do I want this to extend out this way? Well, I don't have foundation support right here. Well, that's pretty interesting. Which means I can't put a handrail right there, which means I'm going to have to put pillars or something right there, huh? I'm going to have to do something right there, I think. But... What do we think we're going to do here? I think we're going to have to go. Let's take the quick way down. We're going to have to build ourselves a door right there in the middle. Can I build what? Can I build a double door? I can. Wooden double door. That certainly helps. Oh, we're going to have to build a, uh, a regular wall. Okay. Well, I hope this isn't what everything is attached to. Okay, good. Okay, so we're going to put us a double door. We're, first, we're going to put a wall right there that lines up well enough sure eh, we'll we'll just say that that, line, that lines up well and we'll put our door frame right here and we'll put our door to nowhere oh no <laughs> But this is what I want to do here. Yes. Looking good. Not that one. any stairs I wonder if the stairs <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's kind of great right there I need to build myself another set of stairs for this other side yeah I like that it's a little funky but who said a little funky would be bad And then the question is, how far out can I go? I've only got seven of these left. Because if I put a 
foundation support right there. I could build a column all the way up to the corner of this. We're going to have to build us a whole bunch of hand railings to make this look right. Does that match? Can I get one row out further? Was that all I had? Okay, we're going to pick this up. We want to we want to make sure we got foundation support. It's a roundabout way to get up here. So let's see, if I got rid of the stairs, I'll walk up this way, then walk up this way, then walk up this way. That's not bad, huh? I need to put a bed up here. But there's my bookcase. Yay! Before we do any more building here, crafting, I definitely know we need more of these. Three more. That's what I can do right now. Oh, you're not Avery. Let's go find Avery, and let's go take a look at it from the sky. Oh, that's kind of slick looking. I think it does need to come out one more section. It's a little funky. It's actually a lot funky. Okay, I don't like this right here. So we're going to get rid of this. Okay, great. Whatever. Whoa! Into the water! Handrails? We don't need no stinking handrails. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe we do. And back up. At least I got stairs to get up to the here now, huh? Okay. And... You, what are you doing that for? All right, we can now make us at least two more. Yeah, two more. That gives us six. Seven, that, I need seven. Okay, I think that's going to look a little bit better. What do we need to make one more of those? We need just a little bit of wood. One smack with a hatchet and we'll be good. It's definitely a little funky. I like it, though. Especially if we get some handrails put up. Yeah! We don't need any extra support here. Oh yeah, that's gonna make it look so much better. Look at that, that's good. Oh, but that kind of works. Does that work? That'll work. We'll just go all the way down to the ground with it. I can handle that.
Yeah, that'll be all right. That'll be all right. And is that the the mirror spot? Yeah, that's good. That works. That works. All right, let's get the rest of these foundations and let's uh, carry those all the way to the floor. Pillars. They're not foundations. They're pillars. I, I know. I got it. Got it. <laughs> See, how many is this gonna take? It's gonna take six to get all the way down, which means I'm gonna be a couple of short, but that's all right, because I have these. got our balcony done and made to look like it's not completely floating and weird it's all right that works i maybe could have moved those back one but then it would have made it a little bit more difficult to uh do things like land in argent right here it's a nice shady spot. Avery, this might be where I'll let you hang out most of the time. All right, so what do we think about this so far? Not bad, huh? Not bad at all. Okay, next order of business. Now that we got our balcony done, what is it gonna take for us to make a chemistry bench? A lot of stuff. But I think we got enough stuff to do it because we got loads of crystal here. Well, why did I do that? And then we gotta go get some more oil. Let's see. Chemistry bench. We got enough metal. We can get enough electronics pretty easily. Polymer. We can handle that. tell you what, while that's doing its thing, come here, let's go get some obsidian, buddy. Now, we may be a little bit heavy, but look at all of this that we got. Yes, I apparently, I am always learning something new as well. A Dodicarus will get tons of metal from the obsidian stones. The obsidian deposit. That's kind of awesome. That's going to come in really, really handy in the future. 
Oh, look at how good she looks. Look at that. Isn't that just such a good looking base right there? So good. Oh, look. You gave me an egg. I think I saw another egg. I did. Are y'all starting to do? Oh, look, I got eggs all over the place. Y'all are amazing. No egg from you, though, huh? Oh, we are out of cementing paste. How much polymer do we have? One second. We don't have enough polymer. We got to go do some more cementing paste hunting. Oh, wait. <laughs> we got a whole ton of it here. Lucky got to get you out of the way. Avery, let's, uh, here it is right here. This is the reason I like to have my fabricator by a, a window. This is the reason <laughs> right there. Fabricator by the window. And that's going to take that a long time to get crafted up. Okay, Miss Baryonyx. Out of the way. Oh gosh, you went way far away. Put one in there. Okay, we gotta move, we gotta get those. And we're good. And we're gooder. And now we're going on a tech dino hunt. Oh, that's a red drop. What is this? Hey, that's not bad. I'll take that. Okay, we gotta go find us some tech dinos. drops down as I'm coming into base. Let's see if either of them will hold. I don't think either of them will. Will it make me mad? Couple of saddle blueprints. Just barely. All right. Two things that I don't care about at all. And look, we can land you right here. And we can put all of our blueprints right there. We got to get us a lamp going on here, huh? Okay, well, we managed to get all the way around the island and get quite a few tech dinos. And we also ran by the old base and realized I had some 
electronics there. So uh, I think we might have just enough to craft us up our chemistry bench. Let's see. Not quite. What do we need? Cementing paste. We need more. How much cementing paste? Do we need 250. How much more do we need? 12. Which means we need you. There's no chitin in there. There's no chitin. In Where's all my chitin? Bunch of it is on Gene. But a bunch of it is right here. We can also drop off some of these supplies here. That's what we need. Chemistry bench, baby. Okay. You got to follow me away from there. All right, chemistry bench is going to go. I'm good with that. I can live with that. You know what else I can live with? I can live with the lamp right here. Yeah, we got light in the house. I'm going to put some of this wood in here so I can make another electrical outlet. Let us decide to uh, demolish that bed. I need to get electricity all the way to about right here because I want to have, I think that's the ticket. I want to have the industrial grill. Oh shoot, the feeding trough is right there. Okay, industrial grill is going to go right here. Let's grab it. Did I already grab it? Where is it? There we are. Industrial grill coming up. Let's see, we're not poking out the other side, are we? Can we get to it from here? That works. Let's see, now we gotta start doing some of this electrical work here. Alright, well, we're gonna have three fridges right here. And I think over in this corner, we'll have uh, air conditioners. Because that'll be, this will be a great little spot right here if the air conditioners will work through the wall that we can have our egg hatchery right there. 
I think that sounds like a great plan. What do you think? We gotta have a fridge. We gotta have an AC. Yeah, we just need metal for all this. Oh, we're cruising here, guys. Oh, and we got loads more metal. We just got to put some wood in there. I think we may actually try for an indie forge here pretty soon. I know this makes absolutely no practical sense, but this is the way we're going to do it. Because you would never put a refrigerator right next to your grill, would you? But that's exactly what we're going to do. And see, we got room for another one. Right here and maybe even a preserving bin next to that. Air con. We'll put you get it really close to the wall here. I have a whole row of these things so that I can use them to hatch eggs. Well, I think that's going to about do it for today because we've gotten so much done. We finished off this porch. We have gone on a, a wild ride around the island to get enough electronics that we could make us a uh, air conditioning and a couple of refrigerators and we placed our industrial grill and we got our chemistry bench going. We need to get more gasoline going because we don't have a lot of gasoline, but we are in a great position now because I think the base is outside of needing to do things like put a uh, some gardening, some greenhouses and get into gardening a little bit so that we can get crops, so that we can make kibbles, so we can tame other things a whole lot easier. We're in really good shape. What do we think about this? I am really excited about how this base is turning out here. I think I've got plenty of room all over where I feel like I'm going to need it because right down here there's room for an industrial forge and a te tech replicator right next to each other. And I've got this amazing spot where Avery and I can just come in and land and then I can run straight in here and drop off all my blueprints at my... oh. Yep, blueprints off at my bookshelf, even though I don't have any in my inventory right now. But man, this is going to be a great place to call home for the foreseeable future. So with that, I'm going to say I will see you all in the next video. Remember, I am the dad who plays things. And to go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button on the video, notification bell, all those good things you know to do. And I will see you all in the next video. Take it easy, everybody.